got a, a brand new 7.62 by 39 upper from Bear Creek Arsenal. That's right, baby. Made in the USA. I absolutely love Bear Creek Arsenal. I got a 5.56 five, I've been putting to the test for the last few months. I want to do the longevity, see how many rounds I can actually pump through the sucker and see exactly how it holds up to the test. I'll do a review on that one here in just a little bit. But I got this 7.62 by 39 from Bear Creek Arsenal. It's 18 inch barrel. I got the flash hide, it got the rear charging handle, the dust cover on it. It's ready to rock and roll. It got an enhanced firing pin that they said stands up really well to steel case. Let's exactly see if that's true because I read some reviews and I've seen people open up the boxes, but I don't care about people opening up the box. It's a freaking box. I want to see how this sucker performs. How's it really tested? So I'm going to take this out to the range. I got a brand new Magpul lower from Palmetto State Arms. It's been all decked out with Magpul stuff. They're supposed to go together like a really well-made glove, like your hands fitting in a glove. The Bear Creek Arsenal uppers, Palmetto State Arms lowers, and you can't beat the price. I mean, I got the upper for less than $300. Uh, of course, Palmetto State Arms run some crazy deals. I got their Palmetto State Arm lower, and it's decked out with complete Magpul, and I got that le uh, less than $170. So all together, I built a full-on AR 7.62 by 39 for less than 400 bucks. You can't beat this, okay? So it's out there, they're available. You just gotta do the actual reviews, see if it's gonna be tested well, and I'll get back with you and exactly how it performs in a range so you can make a smart buy for yourself. Anyways, I wanna start off with the lower. This is from Palmetto State Armory. It came decked out with Magpul. I mean, it got the adjustable buttstock. It got the trigger guard under there. It got a great grip on this handle. Even when you're sweaty, it was hot out yesterday. We went to the range, but I mean, it just fits comfortably right in your hands. Uh, I love that. Um, of course, the just the way it feels comfortability-wise, because when you're out there, you're hot, you're sweaty, you want something to grip onto. That's going to be tried and true. You don't want those cheap plastic handles that seem to just slide off. But overall, I got to give this two thumbs up for the Palmetto State Armory. And no, don't get me wrong. The only issue that I felt with this was there's a little bit of creep in the trigger. But I mean, honestly, I got a $400 lower for $169. They had a blowout sale that was fully decked out with Magpul. You can't beat that. I had no feeding issues other than this piece of crap ASC 10 round mag and that's because they had the lips on this way too far bent in so it wasn't the lower it wasn't the upper it was a mag issue I bought three different kinds of mags specifically for that and I'll do a mag test and I'll, I'll run through rounds through them and do some testing on what kind of mags really feed best through the PSAs and also I have the Bear Creek Arsenal, some other lowers that I'm going to be testing now. I'll give you some good honest reviews on what max are out there because you can look at how many stars something has and half of them could be fake. But this is tried, tested, and found faulty. Just as FYI on that, the ASC 10 rag mag was garbage. Let's just be honest about that. All right, so moving on from the lower. I like I said, I love the lower. It absolutely worked flawlessly, and I matched it up with the Bear Creek Arsenal upper, 7.62 by 39 upper. It has that Generation 2 enhanced firing pin on there. It says it works super well with steel rounds, and I read one bad review on their website, and the rest were great. Um, so I'm like, well, let's try it out. Let's buy a bunch of steel rounds. Let's buy some brass. Let's buy some junk. Let's buy some good stuff and let's feed as much through there as possible. And I wanna see if I can break this sucker. And let me tell you, with that one in 10 twist on there and that two inch flash hide, this sucker ran like a dream. It fit flawlessly in with the Palmetto State Arms lower and I had absolutely no issues with this thing feeding, uh, no jams, no double feeds other than that bad magazine to this, that I threw off to the side like a piece of crap because that's what it is. And other than that, it ran like a dream. I was getting groupings like this. We put it all the way to the back of the range that we were at 
and once I got it dialed in, it was hitting on point, and it did not matter what kind of ammo. Let me just back that up and say it again. Did not matter what kind of ammo I threw through this thing, it went down range and held true every single time. Congratulations, Bear Creek Arsenals. You made one heck of an AR upper. It's absolutely wonderful. This is my second build from them, and I'm not saying that I'm becoming a fanboy of them because, heck, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But everything that I've had from Bear Creek Arsenal, I have a lower from them and an upper 5.56, five, and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm going to do a longevity one. I'm almost at a thousand rounds for that 5.56, five, and I haven't had a flaw with it yet. I want to push that thousand round marker with that sucker first before I do a review on it. But this upper is absolutely wonderful. It's the rear charging handle, gas port on the back. I mean, it got the dust cover on it. I mean, it is absolutely just amazing what they've done. It's a heavy barrel, but with a heavier barrel, that flash height on it, that twist on there. I mean, I was groupings like this, and I'll throw up some pictures of what we were doing at the range, some videos with it also, and I'll show you how to try it. back again it took a little walking in but as you can definitely tell once you walk that sucker in and just right there holding on I mean that's a tight grouping right there in the dead middle even when I was walking it in I was putting it through basically almost the same exact hole that's that BCA upper at 7.62 by 39 upper from Bear Creek Arsenal I mean it is just right on the money Matched it up with that mag pole from PSA, got that Palmetto State arm lower, and of course, 